Hello students. Hope all are safe and fine. I am happy to teach this session for you. I thank God for giving me this opportunity. ICSC 6th Computer Application Unit 3 Tabular Column in Microsoft Word Part 1 what is a tabular column? What is a table? The arrangement of data in rows and columns is called as a table. So, what is a tabular column? A tabular column has rows and columns. So, we arrange data inside a tabular column using rows and columns. So, what is a row? Uh, horizontal arrangement. What is a horizontal line? Horizontal line is the sleeping line. Uh, for your uh, understanding, I am telling you this uh, sleeping line. So, when uh, a line when it is sleeping, when it is lying down, it is called as horizontal. So, if a line is standing, it is called as vertical. So, sleeping line is horizontal standing line is uh, standing line is vertical so horizontal arrangement the sleeping is called as row and the vertical arrangement the standing arrangement is called as column so i think now you would have understood the sleeping uh, arrangement is called as row and the standing arrangement is called as the column horizontal arrangement is row vertical arrangement is column so, a part where the row and the column meet is called as a cell. In, in the tabular column, every cell, the row and the column meets at that point. So, that is called as a cell. I will give you uh, an example. So, uh, this is your classroom. The first uh, row is called as, uh, the first line is called as the row. Where the? first benchers you call them as first benchers so the first um, uh, row the, where the teacher meets them uh, next to the teacher the, all uh, the row is there so the last uh, row is called as last you call them as last benchers that that is the last row so as soon as you enter the classroom you have a straight line that is called as the column first column uh, as you enter, you will uh, first you will enter into the first column, then to the second column, then to the third column, and then you go to the uh, end of the classroom where you have windows. That is the fourth column. Uh, in the picture, it is shown very clearly. I think uh, you understood. So we will go to the next example. Here is the next example. This is your morning assembly. In your uh, morning assembly, you stand class wise in rows and columns. So, uh, I have shown a picture here. So, the first is the column where all the girls are standing. And uh, row is the first row where four girls are standing and one boy is standing. So, that is the first row. And uh, all the girls are standing. So, that is the first column first column second column third column fourth column and in the fifth column the boy is standing okay so this is the column and row is the uh, first row where four girls and one boy is standing that is the row next row second row third row likewise the entire assembly has rows and columns arranged uh, all the students are arranged neatly and in a presentable way so, next example is your class timetable. In your class timetable, you have rows and columns. In the column, you have timing and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to Friday. And in your uh, rows, you have subjects, Max, English. Likewise, you have subjects in the rows. So, for Monday... Uh, Monday is a column. At 7.30 you have max class. At 8.10 you have Chinese class. Then you have your break. And 10 to 10.40 you have science class. That is column. 
we'll see the row uh, 7:30 monday you have max tuesday you have english wednesday you have health education thursday you have art and craft friday you have thai thai is a language so uh, that is the row second row you have uh, monday 8 10 you have chinese class then you have thai class then you have max class then again you have chinese and again you have chinese that is the row second row third row is the break and the fourth row you have science chinese social studies max and science again so these are the rows and the monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday is the each column i have uh, given a picture of uh, uh horizontal line vertical line intersection for your uh, understanding so the blue color uh, sticky note is called as the uh, horizontal line the pink one is called as the vertical line standing line vertical line and where the blue and the pink meet is called as the intersection so this is the table i have drawn this for your understanding so uh, if a question is asked about tableau column you can draw this and show um, so the blue color uh, box is called as cell where the row and the column meet the first row uh, including the blue uh, box two box uh, two red boxes are there. that is called as a row and all the uh three uh, columns i have uh, go, uh, sh shown uh, arrow mark here a green color arrow mark that is called as a column the whole line is called as a column so the yellow arrow mark shows the row the whole line is called as a row uh, i have given another example of the menu card when you go to a hotel you use your menu card they will, they will give you a menu card so that you can order your a uh, dish so here also they use table column in the first row they have given burger special tasty meat and in the first column they have given burger best food fries and cold so that is the uh, row and the column this is a table column why do we use a table column we use table column so that uh, the data we give is a uh, very neat in an orderly way and it is very easy to understand what the data is that is why you, we use table table column why do we use table column so that the the data we present is very neat ordered and easy to understand so today we learn how to create a table so uh, there are two methods to create a table in ms word what is ms word everybody uh, will be knowing what is ms word ms word is microsoft word it's a document where we can enter data uh, in paragraphs or in points you can write your uh, homeworks in uh, in the document word document so today we are going to insert a table column inside ms word ms word document how do we do this first method there are two methods so first i'll t teach you the first method first is you have to click the insert option in the top task bar uh, there will be a uh, option called insert so you have to click that box and you will get a table column uh, like a table below the insert option so click that table you will have uh, you will get a uh, drop down list and there will be uh, small boxes everywhere so first you click insert option second you click on the table next drag the mouse pointer to select the number of rows and columns see here the blue boxes are called as rows and columns and we are selecting it dragging the mouse uh, from the first uh, row column and select till the 
uh, how many of our rows uh, you want you can select how many of our columns you want you can select here I, I have selected six columns and four rows after selecting it I am clicking on the last blue color box in the corner uh, down corner and I will click there after I click the last row of the selected range of, range of columns uh, then I um, uh, after I click it, it it gets inserted the table gets inserted in the MS Word when you want more rows and columns you can use the second method so how when do we use uh, the second method when we want uh, many rows and columns we can use the second method so what are the steps uh, for uh, using the second method first click the insert on the tab as usual we have to go to the insert option then again as usual we have to click the table option from the drop down list click on insert table um, so there will be a drop down list where you have to select insert table after that you have a, a dialog box will appear when you click insert table a dialog box will appear in that you have to type how many rows you want and how many columns you want so after typing the number uh, if suppose you want 100 rows and 100 columns you have to type 100 in the row box and in the column box you uh, again you have to type 100 uh, in the dialog box after that click ok the table will uh, will be inserted in the ms word with 100 rows and 100 columns so that is the second method so I have given a, a video a demo video how to create table using method 1 so we will see it so to open uh, after opening the ms word uh, you have uh, the insert option so we are going to create the table now uh, a tabular column inside ms word let's create a tabular table so i'm increasing the uh, size of the word so that you can see more clearly size font size let's create a table I'm making it bold underlining it and uh, changing the color of the font let's create a table now go to insert option select the second one table drag the pointer from one row to three columns and three rows click the last one and then give enter click the last uh, box there where the pointer is there after you click the box will get entered so if you want to add another uh, uh, row click insert row below so one row has, has been added so if you want to add another column again right click and insert column to right so one more column has been added so when you uh, after uh, creating the table if you want to add also you can add add a row below and um, column to the right or left you can use anything this is the first method so now we will see how to enter data into the uh, tabular column well, so far we have seen how to um, how to uh, uh, create a tabular column now we will see how to enter data into the cells so what is a cell the intersection of row and column uh, is called as a cell so after creating the table we have to enter data into the cell so uh, we will uh, in your schools you will have clubs like uh, dancing club music club 
biology club mathematics club quiz club and so on so we'll just uh, uh, create a tableau column for school clubs so before that we'll see what are the steps to enter data into the uh, tableau column click on the cell where the data is to be entered click on the cell where the data has to be entered i shown you a blue color box so that is the cell so click on that cell and you have to enter data into it click tab to go to the next cell in your keyboard you have a, a key called tab <coughs> so you have to click on the tab to go to the next cell first you have to click on the cell where you have to give the data uh, to go to the next cell you have to click tab click outside the table once you have finished entering the data as soon as you type all the data into the tableau column you have to click outside the tableau column so that all the data has been entered so table with data so i have i have uh, created a tableau column in ms word and i have entered data into it so first we will see uh, the uh, what are the clubs we have in uh, the school biology club max club and games club only these three i have included and the standard 6th uh, 7th and 8th standard i have included so 6th has 10 uh, students in biology club 15 students in mathematics club and 20 students in games club uh, likewise 7th has 15 10 and 12 uh, respectively and 8th has 20 students in biology 15 students in max and 10 students in games so this is the data i have given and uh, created the tableau column so i have uh, uh, given a demo video of how to enter data into the table so let's watch it so in the last class I taught you how to create, uh, not in the last class, in the previous slides, uh, I have uh, taught you how to create a table. Now we will see how to enter data into the table in MS Word. Let's enter data into MS Word, into a table in MS Word. Uh, so first I am clicking on the first cell and I am going to enter data into it. So we will just have a timetable, Monday, Tuesday, so I am clicking tab uh, to go to the next cell, again I am clicking another tab to go to the next cell or you can also use your mouse, Thursday. So I am going to add uh, one more column to the right for Friday. I am going to add another column in the yeah for uh, timing. Now, so nine to ten on monday we'll have, we'll have english class so tuesday you have your so again i'm entering uh, the timing and uh, let's let's finish monday first so 10 to 11 you have computer class uh, you can even make the size uh, 
bigger by uh, uh, putting the tabla column like how i am doing so 11 to 12 uh, you'll have your break time so tuesday 9 to 10 likewise you have to fill for tuesday wednesday thursday and friday to go to the next cell if you want to click on the uh, uh, cell uh, you can use your mouse also if not you can uh, use tab but on it will move only to the next cell if you randomly want to click somewhere on the table some cell in the table you can use your mouse that is the best way to use uh, click on any random cell so wednesday you will have a tamil class thursday science and friday you will have history and then you will have your biology class 10 to 11 then you will have geography class then you will have your uh, physics class you'll have your music class and then you'll have break every day 11 to 12 you'll be having your break i'm not arranging the tabla column i'm just showing you how to uh, create data into the table using ms word so that's all this is how you create uh, data into the tabla column using rows and uh, columns so that's all uh, i've shown you how to create uh, tabla uh, data into the tabla column so that's all for today uh, i hope you had an interesting class uh, so Uh, just work out and see how to create a table and how to enter data into it uh, have a nice day let's see in the next class thank you